What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. Before we start today's vlog, I have two announcements for you guys. Announcement number one is me and Sean will still be at AutoCon on April 29th. Even though everything happened with the WRX and the car won't be there, we'll still have Sean's car, we'll still have the Legends Media booth with a bunch of awesome limited merch that are only available at shows. Come see us at AutoCon. And announcement number two is, if you are interested in supporting me with either fixing the WRX or getting a new car, I am doing a pre-order sale on a shirt dedicated to the WRX because this was, you know, my dream car, my show car. It was about to be amazing and now it's pretty much destroyed. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But yeah, if you want to help support me uh, dealing with the car situation, we have a limited edition t-shirt that's only going to be on pre-order for a week. After that week, it'll never be available again. So if you want it, be sure to hit the link down below. Go buy that t-shirt. All the proceeds will go to either helping me fix the WRX or if it's completely totaled out. It'll help me towards another car if the WRX is fully totaled out. Either way, Let's get to the video. Sean, what up, dude? What up, bro? Sean's finally back. We got bad yeah. news for you. Yeah, no, dude. Back. Come back to some terrible news. But, but it's fine. But it's fine. It's look, good. look what we got here. So, yeah, bro, yeah. What's, what's the plan for today? So, today, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, Dustin and I are going to go ahead and put the front lip on. The Wings West front lip. So, yeah. Let's get to it, man. We still have a good bit to do to the NSX. So, be sure you come out to AutoCon and see this thing. It is incredible, and it's going to look really good. And the Coliseum lights, dude. It's going to yeah, look dude, sick. Looks so, sick. new front lip. This is his old one. Just uh, kind of like a basic black front lip. Yeah. And then he doesn't even have side skirts on right now. So today we're focusing on the front lip. Front lip. So And I think I'm gonna lower the front. And he's gonna lower the front suspension just a little bit. Cause that pretty big wheel gap there. So you ready to get started, bro? Yeah, let's do it. What's uh, first up? So uh, first up, we're gonna jack the car, uh, take the front bumper off. Cause uh, to work on the car, get the lip on, we gotta take the front bumper off. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Also, if you haven't seen the video uh, a few videos back, Sean does have the new carbon fiber downforce hood with the huge vent in here. They are working on getting Sean a carbon fiber vent to go to the radiator. So hopefully that'll be in this week and we can pick that up. It's carbon fiber on the inside as well as the outside. So that would be awesome to have for the show, but we don't know if it'll be finished yet, but that's just like another addition. And the hood looks amazing. So rip to the WRX. We have the various carbon fiber lip and splitter back here. Oh yeah, the bumper's up there, so. Still haven't heard anything back, whether it's totaled or not, so we're just waiting. And obviously if the car is totaled, I'm gonna take everything off and all the parts will be for sale, but that's for a later time. I don't, I have no news yet, so we'll see. Yeah, dude, check it out. Look how bad I'll scraping. How bad is it? Oh my god. Is it like disintegrating? Yeah, like you got a hole right here. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm taking her off anyways. <laughs> dude, the, this guy's new bumper sits much, much lower than that does, so I'm gonna be very surprised. Oh, and we're lowering the car, so. Hey. Hey, you gotta do, hey, you gotta but, do the little But right thing. here, right here. For those of you who don't know, these these are bags. He has, he has bags waiting. We're just waiting for the management. Alright. So, we have here just a series of bolts to take out all the way along here, and then that, that's it. Pretty much it? Yeah. Same thing with the new lip too, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you guys know how it goes. I mean, if you've ever done a front lip, it's pretty easy. There's just a few bolts on the bottom of the front bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and then check out the mounting points on the new front bumper that he has. That Wings West bumper has been used before from a previous NSX owner, so there should be already some mounting holes for us to go by, so it'll probably be easy putting that lip on as well. Yes, sir, right there. This one's actually really cool because it's polyurethane and it won't like crumble if uh, it won't crumble if he hits like a rock or a big bump or something. This is pretty durable. It's flexible. Oh yeah, you unlock it. Good. It's gonna sit like a little something like this though, like higher. <sighs> it looks very good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this thing on. And you can put the Jackie. 
All right, so before we're going ahead and bolting everything up, we were just kind of scoping out to make sure where the mounting points were, and we actually came across something pretty weird, so. Yeah, so check it out. Uh, looks like the guy who had this before me only mounted it up two bolts on each end. If you were to see these holes that were supposed to be mounted, it wouldn't work. Like if you look under here, if you were to go straight through, it's gonna go to the top of the bumper and show. It doesn't line up at all, so I have no idea how this guy mounted it besides having it on two, on yes. like each end of the stock bumper, which is very, very weird. So I'm thinking we use both of those side mounting points as well as going to get some 3M tape and then 3M taping the entire thing onto the bumper, because that's like the only option that we have. But I, I think if you were to do bolts on either end, it won't go on Anywhere. Like the fitment of this thing is perfect. It's like tucked up in here and like right up against the bumper. So it's not going nowhere. Plus you don't wanna you don't wanna show the janky bolts through the bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Before we make any mounting points on this bumper, we're gonna go ahead and mock it up on the car so Shaw can see where it sits. He does have a little bit of play, whether he wants the front lip to sit a little bit higher or a little bit lower, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Lower is the goal. Always wanna go low. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Looks good, dude. Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about right here. I'm gonna push this down a little bit more so it gets a little lower rather than all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just give that aggressive look. All right, dude, so we got the Gorilla double-sided tape. Okay. Stuff is sticky as hell, man. So <laughs> I think we... <laughs> <laughs> so funny, bro. Yeah, we're, I think we're just gonna line it up right here on the inside, so where it makes contact in the bumper, and maybe do some edges right here if it's not thick enough. Scratch that. Don't don't put that. Now I'm probably just here, dude. To be honest, right here. Yeah. Dude, stop filming me right now. So we're gonna go ahead and have the bumper on one side, the lip on the other side, just so we can have like a visual on where we're gonna put the tape and where it's gonna go onto the bumper. Then we should be pretty much done. I mean, we'll have two bolts on either side, but then tape two bolts and we're good. All right, doctor, hand me the lip, please. Now down the road, if any NSX owners are watching this video and uh, they know better mounting points than what we're doing, we can always go back and you know remount it if there's something better. But for right now, this is the solution that we came up with and I think it's gonna work just fine. Yeah, dude, this is like some heavy duty, sticky, double-sided tape. So this ain't going nowhere. All right, doctor. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there. Actually, you know what? Whoa, whoa. Jesus, you scared the <laughs> shit out of me, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> my bad, dude. But first, you can probably clean the surface. Oh, yeah, so good. Yeah. better. Yeah, not no, 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 don't. <laughs> now we're ready for the install of the lid. Good, really good. All right, finally. Now, you guys, you guys may notice that it's a little bit darker outside than the last yeah, clip. Just a little. Bit. That's because we've had a little bit of trouble with this tape. So we tried it. This is our third time. We finally got it. We tried it a couple times, and we were laying it down weird, and it wasn't really lining up. So we went to the store, got some more tape, got some pizza. Cause you know, you got to, bro. Just got some pizza while you're there. Anyways, we finally got it laid down. Perfect. Everything lines up. Looks sick. So now it's time to start bolting in the side pieces. Bolt is on. This lip is fully on now. Now it's time to install this uh, 
install the bumper back on and we can check out the front lip. <laughs> Sick, dude. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish putting this bumper on correctly, and once we have that, we're gonna take this thing out of the garage, probably go to our usual gas station where we end mostly all of our videos at nighttime, and get this thing under the light and take some pictures and some video. Good. The reason why we come here is because the lighting is always so perfect and it's pretty much dead all the time, but this lit the set. Perfect. 